Hi everyone, this is me, I'm back again. I should have changed my shirt, but we're doing all these on the same day, you know, a few of them on the same day, so you'll understand I don't have to keep going up and changing and coming down, that sort of thing, you know. You understand what I'm doing, right? Oh, that's good, that's good. You sure? <laughs> okay, that's all right. All right. Okay, guess what we're going to talk about this week? Another album from Decca, another time, another place. Decca Records. Now, and I'll tell you about it later on. You know, I had a career with Decca from 1967 to 1974. I think I'd like to talk about this now before the end, or before the end, okay? As a matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a picture of, the, of my trophy that I got for ha spending seven years with, uh, with the Decca. It says on this, on this uh, kind of a trophy there that I put on my wall that in the seven years we sold 20 million albums. That's an awful lot, isn't it? Uh, people don't do that in a lifetime, but I did it in seven, in seven years. Not bad. Excuse me. <laughs> That's lovely. I felt, I felt good when I tapped myself down, you know. But the name of the album is called Another Time, Another Place. Another classic song, which I kept in my show for for some t for a long time, and uh, it ca and and every now and again I put it in my medley. It's a song that you cannot really take out of your life altogether. You know, you got to keep reminding the people this is something I recorded many years ago, and I want you to hear a piece of it. So it maybe it's in a medley, and maybe it's in a song. In uh, I'll do it as a, an entire song. But uh, another time, another place uh, has great uh, great movement and uh, the arrangement was done by a very very dear friend of mine his name is uh, Lawrence Holloway uh, we call him Laurie or, we, or Sir Lawrence as I used to call him when, uh, when uh, we worked on the road together you know an absolute a gentleman and a fantastic musician the most amazing piano player and to this day he's still a classic uh, man in show business and and in uh, as an arranger and as a person he's a j he's, he's, he's great thank you Laurie for being my friend all these years thank you very much that was that was another time another place okay the next one I want to talk about is another Chris Christopherson song <sighs> my lord uh, how many people have recorded this song help me make it through the night Another giant of the Christopherson's great work, you know. The funny thing about him is, you know, I mean, I mean I'm sure he could have kept on writing great songs, and, and but he chose to, to be an actor. You know, he's a pretty damn good actor, too. Very good actor. Uh, I like him as an actor. I love him as a songwriter. And I, I also liked him as a performer. Uh, but he did perform. Help Me Make It Through the Night is probably one of the greatest songs recorded by everybody. I, I kept this in my, my show because it's worth keeping in the show. Take the ribbon from your hair, shake it loose and let it fall. Can you see the images? Can you see the images out of the lyric that comes out? It's so, it's so it's, it, when he writes, he writes like, uh, uh, like it's happening, you know? is happening right then and there and it depends on the person's interpret interpreting his lyric but uh, a, a good actor will make you cry a good performer I, I meant to say a good performer who, who is also doing a little bit of uh, you know living the part so that makes him an actor as well um, here's a song called our love will rise again it's a great song <laughs> Anyway, I'm in my head. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the background vocals, you know, because the the background vocals they were absolutely fabulous. There were two young lady, two young ladies, uh, who did the background vocals, and they were so good. They were they they were sisters, and uh, they came from India, and uh, 
they, their harmonies were just magnificent. And I certainly hope they're list, are listening or watching this, this little promo that I'm giving them right now. And they did Our Love Will Rise Again, and they did another, so another song on this album. When I come to it, I'll, I'll, I'll mention them again. Okay, I cannot remember their names. But, you know, I mean, I only wished I could, because I'd love to have said, hi, so-and-so, hi, so-and-so. And, and, uh, but, you know, it was so long ago that it's difficult to, to remember, but they were absolutely very professional. And I thank them for being on my album of Another Time, Another Place. The other song after that comes after that is called Talk It Over in the Morning, which was written by Paul Williams and, and Roger Nichols. Well, great writers, good song. I put it over on, I put it on my album because it has its, its, uh, it has its, its moments of, of, of how an album should fall into place. And it tells us, you know, each, when you're preparing an album, you're putting them in a line. It, it's a very difficult task to make, to make it flow. It has to flow, you know. So this, this makes the album flow. I talk it over them, it makes the album for a great song. Happy it's on the album. Take a listen to it when you get a chance. Another time, another place. Is the album, it's on. Am I good at plugging? Yeah, I think I am, yeah. There's an island. There's an island in the sun, dee dee da 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 everyone. Now who wrote that? Now let me see. Mess Shell. Okay, Mess Hell or Mess Hell. Anyway, did a good job. You did a good job. Happy you have it on there. There again has images, tells the story, makes the, makes the album listenable, you know, because it has, it has something different in it. This is where the two girls were in, reviving old emotions. The two sisters that were born in India, uh, uh, reviving old emotions. They were on this one as well, and it was just, it just did a great job on it. Please listen to this album, and please pay attention to the background vocals. Not many people do that, you know. They they just talk about the artist and they're about the star on the album. But I, I sometimes love to remember the people who who went to build this album and make it the, the entity it finalized, finished up, finished up with, you know, you finished up. And those two ladies did a great job on this album. Uh, thank you. And Nashville Lady is, of course, Nashville Lady, it's a country song. And I love country music, by the way. And my, uh, I've been thinking more seriously, you know, of, uh, of uh, maybe my next album should have a country feel to it. Uh, be a country, I'd I would like that. I would like that very much. Because, I mean, my first song that I ever recorded that I became somebody with, you know, they were all country songs. Release Me was a country song. Am I That Easy is a country song. There Goes My Everything is a country song. You know, and, and so therefore, I think it's, it's inside me. It just has to come out again, you know? So I love singing country music. I really do. It has so real and, and honest and, and it has a great bearing, great feeling it. Uh, as for a performer to put on stage, you know, and and uh, portray and sing and do whatever he has to do with it. Um, great, I love country music. That's Nashville Lady Morning. I can't remember that. I can't remember that song at all. I'm going to have to play it, and when I play it, and on my, one of my next ones, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll uh, refer to this one. I'm sure. As soon as I hear the first line, it'll all come back to me like that, you know, it's funny. Here's another one, 20 Miles From Home, another country type of song. And uh, Paul, Paul Wilson, Roger Nichols, uh, 20, uh, 20, only 20 miles away from home. Now, can you imagine with what's happening with the, the change of thing? And I'm only 20 kilometers away from home. It doesn't work, does it? doesn't work it has to be miles it has to be miles uh, sorry for for Europe and because Europe use kilometers right but they, they don't I know you say kilometers we say kilometers you know because it's the proper way uh, but uh, don't forget that now kilometers not kilometers kilometers okay uh, am I right okay and the days of icy fingers is the next song on this one 
Uh, it was written by Lambert and, and, and Potter. Icy Fingers, it's a, it's a difficult song to sing. Uh, 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 it was two minutes and 28 seconds long. Um, I don't believe I've ever sang it in my show, but it's, a, it's worth listening to on an album because it has its place on, on, on an album. You know, it has its place there, but it doesn't, probably doesn't have its place on stage, but it has its place on an album. And that's the way we have to think when we put an album out, you know. I'm Holding Your Memory is a great song. Please listen to it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it because it holds great memories for me. Until I see you again next week, God bless you. I try to be the best I can And try to understand Angel on my shoulder The earth beneath my feet I'm a lucky, lucky man